hello in this video i'll show you how you can easily add skin glow or skin shine to your photos when it comes to photoshop and you can see the quick before and after for this very image that we're going to be using for this very tutorial so in case you like this video it is going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people or many photographers out there or ensure that you hit the subscribe button on this channel because it also helps the channel to grow in the long run so you can stay before after before after so i'll simply come and i delete this so in order to add skin glow or skin shine to your photos and comes photoshop you have to analyze which areas are more prominent and which areas are going to display that skin shine in your images more so when you when you analyze this very image i'm just going to create an empty layer for purposes of demonstration so if you are to analyze this very image, you can see these areas are the ones that are going to be needing to have that glow, especially that skin shine in this very photo. So you can see when you analyze these areas, it means we have to target these as the primary areas or areas of focus regarding this skin glow or skin shine. So I'll delete this. And after understanding the target areas where you want to make the glow more pronounced, you are simply going to come and create a curves adjustment layer. So just come right here and come adjustments, come to curves. So the curves adjustment layer is having two points. One or the left hand pointer is for darkening the image and the right hand pointer is for brightening the image. So for this case, what do we want to do? We just want to brighten the bright areas of the skin tone. So click on this right hand pointer and hold down. And you drag it towards the left hand side and stop at the point whereby this highlights a little bit getting overexposed. So you can see at about this point, the highlights and the overall image have started getting overexposed. So we just want to limit this effect to only affect the highlights or the prominent bright areas within the model skin. So what are we going to do? We just want to create a blend and we limit the effect to only affect the brightest areas of the subjective skin. So you are simply going to come right here to the curves adjustment layer and simply right click on the layer. Yeah, come to the curves layer, right click on the layer and come to where you see blending options so when you come to blending options simply click on blending options it is going to open up this layer style dialog box right here in uh, photoshop and for this you can start we have blend if so just come to where you see blend if make sure you have set it to gray yes then come to where you see the underlying layer option so the reason for choosing underlying layer is because we want the effect to affect the underlying layer, which is the background layer for this very case. So come to where you see underlying layer and click and hold down these pointers. So just want to take the effect from affecting the darkest areas of the image and only leave it to affect the brightest areas of the model skin. So just come to underlying layer click and you drag and as you start dragging you can see other areas are going to start getting dark just like that just take it up and stop at the point whereby only the highlights or the brightest areas of the skin tone are being affected but as you can see this looks a little bit unnatural in this case so we just want it to blend well into the skin without having to cause these rough lines around the highlight area so how are we going to do that in case you're using mac so for mac it is option for windows it is alternate or out so hold down the option button and click on this right hand pointer you can see there are two pointers one on the left one on the right so option and click on this right hand pointer and drag it towards the right hand side until or stop at the point whereby the effect is blending well into the highlight area don't take it all the way up because when you do that you're going to lose out on the effect so just stop at the point whereby the effect is blending into uh, the model skin 
just like that and the transition is very nice and smooth for this case you're just going to come click ok so when you turn this on and off you can see the effect is as well affecting some areas of of her hair and some areas in the background so you can say before and after and even the brightest areas like the teeth and the eyes but we only want to limit this effect to affect only the skin so what are we going to do you're just going to invert the effect or hide the effect from affecting the overall image so how do we hide the effect you're just going to invert this white layer the reason I try the effect is displaying it is because it is displaying on this white layer mask so we just want it to be hidden behind the the white layer mask so just want to change this into black by inverting it rather so press ctrl i on the keyboard or you can use command i to invert the effect and before inverting ensure that the layer mask is selected so that the effect can be hidden immediately so after hiding the effect we are going to come to the brushes right click and get the brush tool so right right now we have gotten the brush tool and we have to set up the brush tool so just come to the settings make sure soft round brush is selected because we don't want a rough or a hard brush for this step make sure the mode is set to normal opacity is 100 percent flow at 100 percent and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches so in case you have any other random color apart from black and white you can simply press d on the keyboard you can reset by uh, simply clicking on these tiny swatches so ensure that white is the foreground color meaning our brush is going to be painting white on the areas of the highlights that we want to be affected so for this case we're just going to start painting so increase on the size of the brush by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard and start painting on our highlight area so i'll paint on the highlight areas just like that so i have painted on the highlight area so paint on the highlight area while spreading the effect even more into other areas just like that so that it can blend well or even better into the skin so after you have done that you can see the before and after before after in order to make this even more pronounced in case it's not enough for you come to the blend mode and change it from normal to linear dodge and you can see how that has turned out to look a little bit too much so always come the opacity and drop down or reduce on the opacity so that the effect can look a little bit more natural and a little bit more realistic so at about 39 or 37 that is okay so you can say before after before after in case you want to eliminate the effect from certain areas make sure that black is the foreground color reduce on the size of the brush and simply eliminate it from the eyes or in case you have painted for example on the teeth of the model so this is how you can easily add skin glow or skin shine to your photos when it comes to photoshop and in case you have enjoyed this video ensure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating